All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Got DC'd. It happens from time to time, even though I have probably one of the better internet connections you can get in my area. But I use that time wisely to um, get a drink and uh, bang my head. Oops. So let's finish up this box if you guys don't mind. So I heard my wife screaming about her internet going down. And so I'm apologizing to you guys for you having to hear her going off about the internet. Not realizing that when her and then it goes down, mine goes down too. Because it, it rarely goes down. But that's what happened. We lost connectivity for whatever stinking reason. And I'm talking, I'm picking I'm picking on um, one of the guys on the cards. And then I'm still talking away. A couple minutes past the, um, the, I lost my internet connection thing, wife screaming. Um, that... I'm just still talking like I'm talking to you guys. So, I use that time to go get a drink. There's Harold Baines. And bash on one of the ball players for the way he looked with beady eyes. New York's finest, Bernie Williams. Andrew Jones, uh, plays of the week. Okay, never seen those cards. Andrew Jones, plays of the week. Roy Oswalt, plays of the week. Randy Wynn, home run king. 40 home runs for Ryan Dunn. Who's this guy? <clears throat> oh, Lance Berkman. Huge eligible for the Hall of Fame. He just didn't make it last year. President Taft attends opening day. <clears throat> Here's a nice blue card. Forte. <coughs> Darren Erstad. Ooh, look at this shiny. Big Cat Andres Galarraga. And this one is Leading Indicators. Top's Finest. I guess that's the protective cover on it for the Big Cat. Hitting for the Cycle, Luis Gonzalez. There's a Danny Tarball. I've never seen that. Ichiro. And Hideo Nomo on the back. Very nice. All right. So I'm not going to digress and go back and pick on that guy that I was... Pointing out, even though it was Rafael Ramirez and he had squinty, beady, close set eyes, I am not going to go back and pick on him. So now we've got more Pinnacle, which I have since buried. So, so much for separating the Pinnacle from everything else. And I'll give a resort to these. This is more or less just sharing. Sharing the box with you guys. This will have to be resorted by um, manufacturer. Some I did manage to keep separate. Bowmans are always interesting and fun to see what rookies are there. If any, none in that one. And so while I was at the flea market today, Ronnie was there, another guy. He actually has a YouTube channel, and I, for the life of me, cannot remember the name of his channel. Are you here, Ronnie? It's sports collectors, sports card collector, something like that. I don't know. I have to look it up again. I should have wrote it down so I can plug him because he 
Ronnie sold me some stuff today. And Ronnie, you know, he basically sells cards. I don't think he um, really, I mean, he might have his own type of collection that he collects, but he, he actually sells cards. So anywhere from like blaster boxes to um, uh, he specializes in autographs and, and memorabilia cards and stuff like that that he sells. So here we want to look for a Randy Johnson card, right? With the Marlboro sign in the background. Chances are it's not there. Tens of thousands of these cards, and I've never seen it. Only heard about it. So you know how that goes. And so these are updates. Yeah, these are the top, the traded set. I don't know who would be in there, but obviously there's Brian Smith, Brian Smith. Pascal Perez. That's from Ugly Mofo. I gotta move this box. Hopefully it won't fall. Cause I'm getting precariously stacking stuff around here now. Hey, but anything's possible, right? I mean, we got those um, 88 tops uh, error cards, right? Got the Eddie Murray and the Mark McGuire. So you never know. More of the uh, traded cards. Are these like 90 tops? Yep, 1990 tops. So I don't know who's supposed to be in this this set here, the tops traded set, but got a few of them. Here's um, a subset, I guess, of Dunruss, the rookies. These probably came in their own little box, maybe the 132 card set. Maybe not. Maybe 60 cards. Don't know. Right. So thanks for coming back, guys, by the way. There's a uh, sour beans. Appreciate y'all sticking with me after the... Uh, Power outage there, the internet outage. So, see these cards? If any of you guys want any of these cards, let me know. Um, uh, my email is in my um, the About tab on my YouTube like homepage there. And I've got, like, I don't know, thousands of these. So there's not many in the set, but there may be someone in there that you collect, that you PC. Saberhagen, Strawberry, Davis, Grace. There's a couple different, sometimes there's two different ones of the guy. Strawberry, Davis, Grace, Bonilla, Jeffrey, Sierra, Smoltz, Jeffries. Like Jeffries, I think, has two different. There he is standing. There he is bunting. Smoltz, Davis, Bonilla, Sierra, Smoltz, Bonilla, Jeffries. Anyway, there's there's a bunch more than that. There's Sabo. There's um, other ones. There's a Deion Sanders. Is that his rookie? Let's see. It is indeed Deion's rookie. Neon Deion.
on there. Like, you know, and like one thing he I got one box of him had like I don't know a thousand plus cards of, of those. It was just star line cards. There's um Eric Plunk. In case you guys have never seen an Eric Plunk card before. See like they're starting to be peppered in here. There's a Sabo one. There might be two different Sabos. Smokey Burgess. And got to put these off to the side because these might be some of the ones that I'm missing. Obviously, I only got the one of the Rose cards, but we found out we're missing card like number 100. So I may be able to piece it together yet. Some minor league cards. Anthony Gutierrez. Scott Shockey. Okay. Tony Scruggs. Mike Cook. Never heard of any of those guys. Hey, Spicy Bear. Yes, we're back. Thanks for coming back. You need more on the trees. 88 Dunruss. You see more on the trees. Okay. Well, you know, we're influenced by the uh, our first exposures to the cards and stuff like that. Like mine was 72. Even though know, I got some prior to that, I really started collecting as a kid in 1972. So I like the 72 Tops baseball. And the football. I mean, I, I collected everything back when I was a kid. Basketball, hockey, football. You know, I have since just gone to um, strictly sticking with baseball because it's just too much. Even the baseball is too expensive nowadays. So for those of you that are new getting in here tonight, this is a box that I picked up today. Some of our flea markets. So you like the... the the 90 Fleer design. Or you said Dunruss. What's the 90 Dunruss? I'm going to find 90 Dunruss. I said 90 Dunruss. That's my colors in 88. 90 Dunruss. This isn't them, is it? 89. So would this be the 90 Dunruss? That's the one you're talking about? Like those? What's going on in here? Hey, Rob G. Well, we're going through some uh, some stuff that I picked up at the flea market today. And um, also, I met up with a guy named Art. And this happens to be the stuff that I bought off of Art. So. nineteen eighty six. Okay. Not too much. I'm just, there's a nice Bo Jackson. You can read it. I mean, that's some broad shoulders on Bo. Oh, can't pass up that Jim Abbott because someone wants a Jim Abbott's. Finley, another Harold Baines, Peter Gammons, Ray Langford, and then there's a Jose time lapse PED swing. Jeff Juden. No, can't be right. Okay. Jeez, so many of these Brian cards in there. 
Oh, another Canseco. I swear, I've come across more Canseco cards than I think any other individual player in these boxes. It's like so many Cansecos. You don't even think about it normally. Like I don't think about it, but um, Chris Bolton asked if I had some Cansecos and if I could send him. So, oh, look at that one. You guys ever seen this kind of card from Stadium Club? It's plastic, so it'll it'll never um, get messed up if you put tape on it. You know, so or because immersed in water. Nice card. I like it. Put it off to the side. So you guys missed the first box I had gone through. Um, I paid a hundred dollars for that box, but it really wasn't worth it. So, but what are you gonna do? Sometimes, I mean, I got some good cards from '75, '72s, uh, good little mixtures, but it just, mm, it just missed. I think I just missed the boat on that one there because, um, there were so many boogered up cards in there too, and there were some new ones, and there were so many, um. A third of it was football cards. And there were some older football cards in there too, but I don't, I don't do football anymore. And probably the majority of them I already had. That guy. Look how small he is compared to his brother. His brother's like a foot taller than him. I remember growing up, we would have killed to get the 86 Dunruss Canseco. Which one's the 86 Dunruss Canseco? Oh, that's the, the 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 black and white one? Like this card here, Canseco? And the black and white, right? Running out of room to stack these cards up. I have to put, start putting them back in the box, I think. No sorting being done tonight. Just kind of going through and I'm sharing with you guys what I got. But I picked up, so from Art, I bought about 40,000 cards from him tonight. I paid $75 for them. So I got three boxes like this. This is one of the three. I got 19 um, supposedly uh, complete sets. Ranging from 96 through, um, and that card got all boogered up. Someone just went like a knife and just started carving on it. Even though it's Melito Perez, it's still a nice looking card. Um, so, uh, and then just some loose cards in 800 count boxes because he's uh, basically said he ran out of 5,000 count boxes. Art's a guy who used to be in the business years ago, and he, at one point, during the heyday of the card um, show business and stuff like that, um, he had 20 million cards in his inventory. So I'm kind of slowly benefiting from that. Look at there's a Canseco. It's not as rookie, is it? No, right? No, it's like a fourth year card. So I'm going to Canseco pile list for Chris Bolton. Oh, another Canseco. Yeah, not as rookie. Yeah, I, you know, I've kind of 
since I've fallen out of the, uh, the hobby for so long, I've kind of lost track of I used to be able to know everything about these cards. I could do quotes like, you know, how um, Eric throws up a lot of stats at you and stuff about cards and rookies. There's another Abbott. We already found one of those, but there's another one for now. And I used to know everything about them too when I was kid collecting, but you know, if, like everyone else, practically we fell out of the hobby. We fell out of you know contact with what was going on and uh, forgot about who the top rookie cards were, top players were. Sometimes we didn't even know till we went back and found out. Oh my God, I got that card. Oh my God. Like I still swear. I still swear, and I am going to find them. When I find them, I'm going to, you guys are going to be the first ones to see it. Well, maybe my wife will show them to her. But the the 93 Upper Deck SP Foil Jeters, I know I have two of them. I know it. I just don't know where they're at. You know, I thought I had them, like, in, in a, a binder of all things, right? It tells you how long ago it's been. And if you saw any of my other videos, you know how I really feel about binders. But that's it's already been discussed about those nine-page sleeves. Um, how I really, they damage your cards more than help them. But, you know, to each his own. I just, I when I buy binders and stuff, I try to rip those cards out of there right away or as soon as I can. So that they don't get any more damage. You know, the intent of preserving a card was nice back, you know, then. But, geez, you, you penny sleeve them and you top load them. And that's the best way to preserve your cards. And then, obviously, if they're really nice cards, you one-touch them. Back in my day, you didn't. we didn't have one-touches. We had the, the four screw-downs, and then we they had the one screw-downs. And um, if you were me, I made my own. When I was in seventh grade in shop class, before any of these these uh, screw downs and anything were even thought of, I made four of them, and I had a '72 Roberto Clemente in action. I had a '73 uh, Willie Mays with the Mets in um, screw downs. They weren't screw downs, but I drilled holes in them, and then I um, I laced like nylon through it. And that's what held them held the two pieces of plexiglass together. But you know, I knew nothing about copywriting stuff and getting patents and all that good stuff. I was in seventh grade. I was just having fun doing something that I thought would be neat for my cards. Otherwise, I'd have a house for my cards, dedicated to my cards. Might have even have a house made out of cards. All right, that'd be cool. Have giant baseball cards made up into the side of your uh, walls and stuff. Joe Carter. All right. A couple of nice cards in that stack, but it is what it is. All right, let's see what we got. Five hundred cards. Gold black. You got hundreds of TTMs. Yeah, I've I've gotten back into TTMs there because I've been um. I started out doing it pretty frequently in the beginning of the the year, but I've since gotten away from it because I was doing flea marketing and stuff like that. And my boss writes, no kidding, like ten letters a day before he goes to work. And mails them out. And then he, he conveniently tells me how many returns he got. You know, the next day. He's like, oh, yeah, I got these back today. I got these back. He's gotten some back, and I've gotten some back. I got a Mike Schmidt that took three years to get back to me. Uh, he's gotten ones that have taken up to five years, but he's finally gotten back. Some guys just don't, don't sign for a long time. And then I guess they need rent money or something or, I don't know, PED money. So then some of them charge a fee. You know, um, and yeah, so then they start signing to pay the rent. 
I heard, oh, there's Jim Abbott, almost passed him up. I heard um, Tommy John's um, wife learned to write his signature because he was out with Tommy John surgery. And then after they got divorced, the mail that kept coming to his house because he was charging like 10 or 20 bucks, whatever he was charging for autographs, she kept signing his signature and sending the cards back to the people. And that's how she was supplementing the loss of her husband's income. Her alimony checks were not the same, I guess. That's just a rumor. And I cannot substantiate that, but that's what I heard. Through the grapevine. It's strictly hearsay. That's a nice Larry Walker. There's an Edgar Martinez. Nice hitting off the tee. Oy. Getting a little tight in there. At least these are not all bricked up like, you know, he took care of his cards, Art did. Because um, these would normally brick up on you. Um, no paper loss, nothing like that. So I'm striving to continue that and preserve these cards. Billy Ripken, yeah. Mickey Morandini. There's Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. There's a Jose Canseco. Looks like he may have hit a ground ball because his eyes are not tilted up towards the sky. They're looking down like he hit a line drive, maybe grounded out. But he didn't miss the ball. Smolty. Charlie Huff. Now he is old in that picture, without a doubt. Whoops. Charlie is old in that picture. Still hanging on. Pitching for the Marlins. Someday this will focus. But anyway, he's old looking. But you got to give him credit. He stayed around a long time. Made a little bit of money doing it. And had fun. Probably had a chicks like Pete Rose had chicks every night. Hopefully they were a little bit older than 13 year olds. But... I'm just kidding. I don't know about Pete Rose. That's just a rumor, too. I can't state for fact. That is hearsay as well. And not admissible in court. That's what hearsay means. It means you heard it from someone else. You didn't hear it directly from the source. Frankie Rodriguez. Oh, looks like we're hitting some newer cards. Some of you guys might like these. And I, during my little intermission, I went down and um, grabbed a little tote real quick that I, I picked up off of uh, Ronnie, who is a, um, a YouTuber with us. And he sells cards, like I said earlier. And I'm just going to flip through these real fast. So here's some new stuff. But I bought a small tote of cards off of Ronnie for... 20 bucks. So Alex Gordon, Bruce Maxwell. Is he, is he still not standing for the national anthem? Can anyone confirm that for me or not? He's like the only baseball player that doesn't stand for the national anthem. And he's an army brat or his, he's a brat. His, his father was in the military. Um, so I have like zero respect for this guy. I'm I'm a I'm a veteran. I served 21 years in the Air Force, um, and uh, yeah, I just feel that guys need to stand. Chase Utley. It's the least you can do. Not for me. I, I could care less. It's for the guys who sacrificed, gave their life. Young kids. There's young kids that have been uh, have died in this um, this long now the longest war in the United States history. But 
still. I just feel I just feel he should should be standing. That's all. My opinion, mine alone. I don't tend to get. I actually do not promote politics on my channel or anything like that, um, and or religion. But that is my opinion on that, and that's strictly what it is, an opinion. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, and everyone's entitled to, you know, whatever they want to do. He's entitled to not stand if he wants to not stand, but just you don't you don't earn my respect. That's all. All right, Alan uh, Ginter, Coco Crisp. Uh, Jason McEwen. Damn, I thought that was a girl at first. Okay. How about this, Francisco? Um, whoop, Liriano. All right. So here's some upper deck. Um, SPs, I guess. So this Jermaine Die for the White Sox. Um. Who's this? Someone brown for the Royals. Lyle Overbay. Hafner. Travis Hafner. Jared Weaver. Adam LaRoche. And Biff Hall. Bill Hall. Bill Hall. Never mind. Not Biff. Bill. All right, let's check the chat, see what's going on. Four years, Army here. Oh, well, thank you for your service there, Spicy Bear. Army Guard here. Yeah, that's all it is. It's about the flag and respect for your country and what your, your country, you know, our country does a lot for us, whether you like it or not. Agree or disagree, whatever, but um, we have a lot of uh, rights afforded to us as Americans. And that price has to be paid somewhere along the line. I realize it's an all-volunteer force, um, but still. And some guys volunteer for the wrong reasons. They say, well, I just did it for college or whatnot. Um, but if you did your time and you did it honorably, that's fine. I did my time. Dion Sanders, that was like a young-looking Dion there. Um, and I did nine and a half years active. And I got out. I was out for 13 years, and a friend of mine, coworker, talked me into um, joining the Air Force Reserves. I was Air Force active duty before that, and I did the Air Force Reserve for another 12 years. Went by really fast. Had a lot of fun. Did a lot of things. Deployed a couple times during that time. Not, you know, it's Air Force. It's not Army deployments. It's really easy, easy time. I'll admit it. When people make fun of the Air Force, they refer to it as the Chair Force. I get it. It's 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 a it's a loving kind of thing, you know. Like a lot of them just are busting your balls about it. Is basically what it is. But um, you know, it's it's all done in fun. All the branches, yeah, everyone gets along. That's that's part of the camaraderie of being in the military. Is you you share similar um, experiences and a lot of the army and the marines and even navy guys cross over and and they end up in the air force reserves to finish up their careers why not right and a lot of them enjoy it they're like yeah i, I should have done this years ago you know but it is what it is you know um nothing wrong with being in the army nothing wrong with being in the navy i have friends that were in, in um, army navy my brother was a marine so, you know, um, it is what it is. I have total respect for military people, law enforcement. I was a police officer in Las Vegas for a year. Um, so anybody who who uh, risked their life, even even firefighters. Um, my brother-in-law was a firefighter in New York City. He's, he's retired. He's dealing with the, um, the effects of the... Um, the cancers and stuff now from the um, tower collapse and all the stuff that's going on with that. He's uh, recovering from cancer treatment and 
hopefully God willing, he's uh, going to make a full recovery. It was touch and go for a while, but he's doing a lot better. And so, yeah. But, you know, EMTs, you name it, all those guys, everyone that does those dirty jobs that no one else wants to do, you know, kudos. All right, who else we got here? Who else we coming across here? We got, right now we're hitting some, uh, I'll admit it, some junky cards. But don't worry, I got a surprise for you. This little tote, that little tote right there, that's got some good stuff in it. Not old stuff, but it's all good new stuff. Paid $23 for that tote, for the contents of that tote, I should say. I have to go through all these here, these FLIR, to see where the um, my Randy Johnson Marlboro sign in the background card is. I, I, I got to have one. Out of all the cards I've got, 10 or 20,000 of those cards, I got to have at least one. Boom. I want to thank everyone for number one for coming back after I lost uh, my internet. I was down for a little bit, but you guys came back. Other people tuned in. That's great. Um, quick, just a recap. I'm going over. There's a Manny Silver signature. Nice. Um, going over. Some flea market stuff. I haven't posted the flea market video. I just wanted to get right into these boxes, some of them with you, share them. Because number one, the suspense is killing me. I want to know what I got. Guys, I got 43 boxes downstairs now, still waiting to be sorted through. So <sighs> I walk by them every day. I'm like, man, I just, just grab a box. Just grab a box. But I told you guys that I would hold off. Uh, for the flea market winter time when there's no more flea markets and we'll have something to look at and something to share so that's what i'm going to do even though it's slowly killing me like i have used to have a full head of hair until i said i would do that now i'm like almost totally bald And I'm also going to get a shed, I think, this week. Have them deliver the shed in the back, move the contents into the shed, and start moving all 1.8 million cards out into my garage. My wife says they got to go. And I'm saying they're only going to the garage. She was just afraid I was going to send her packing instead of the cards. but So she tried to, like a preemptive strike, and uh, strike first. And tell me my card's got to go before I tell her she's got to go. So she struck first. And they say, uh, happy wife, happy life. So we got to we gotta go along with that, too, a little bit, right? All right, time to start putting some of these back in because they're just going crazy everywhere. And we got one stack to go. Um, and then we're going to dig into that, that tote, and that'll probably be it. Because it's already after 8 o'clock, right? Going on 9 o'clock. I don't know. And, uh, you know. Hey, Ray T, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Um, I don't know if you're here uh, talking about. Yeah, Spicy Bear, I got 43 boxes. 5,000 count boxes downstairs. That's just downstairs that I haven't looked through yet. And those were picked up within the last uh, month. Let's just say the last month. Um, 210,000. 40, 42 of them. So wait, I got... Still have the original 40... One of the 42. And I added three more today. So it's 44. I took one off. So there's 43 downstairs. That I have not... Um, I've been holding off going through. Because um, I want to share with you guys. And this is strictly because I had people say, hey, 
you know, because I would I did some time lapse. If you check some of my older videos, I did time lapse photography, like um, videos of me sorting through them, ding, 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 and you just see everything going really, really fast, and you really couldn't see the cards. I understand that unless they were on screen for a little while, but um, um, people said, "Hey, we wanted to see wh what you got," and I did. I would do recaps, and then after a while, I stopped doing the recaps because. You know, I'm into the next box already, you know, and I'm just sorting, sorting, sorting. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't mind sharing this with you guys. It is Sunday night. I know people got work in the morning, and, and so do I. There are some days I just don't go to work. I am I'm kind of lucky to have a boss that is a baseball card guy, too. So he kind of gives me a little bit of leeway. Um, and I work for a, um, a company that... Um, Right now is uh, not too concerned about that. They've got other problems. I work for Boeing, and uh, you know they've got other things to worry about. So I'm I'm not on their radar yet, so to speak. Someday I will be, and then they'll say, "Hey, dude, you know you got to come to work every day." Um, you know, I'm not I'm not. I mean, obviously we all need money, right? That's why we work. Um, but we work to live. We do not live to work, and that's my adage. Uh, I'm not a young kid anymore, like uh, working overtime and all that stuff. When I talk to my son, it's like, uh, yeah, that's cool. Do it now while you're young because when you get older, you're not going to want to work. You know, my son works up to 20 hours overtime a week sometimes, uh, which is mandated by his job. And he doesn't work with me. He works, he works for another outfit over in Philly. Um, other company altogether. So he gets a lot of overtime, but he's young. He's like 33 now, maybe. And um, he, uh, you know, he's starting his own family. He's got a third child on the way, third grandchild. Check out some of my other videos, guys. You'll see um, my two granddaughters. The videos are titled like the Chaos Sisters. I did one um, Friday or Saturday. Uh, might have been Saturday with them, and it was a total, total disaster. I, I'm, I don't even want to post it. You know what I mean? But what I did was, so I had these um, 91 score uh, baseball, and I was, you know, that's series two. That's the one with the chance to get the mantle uh, rookie cards. Well, I took the last five packs of mine over there to kind of go through with the girls, and it was just. A disaster. I mean, they were so, so bad. Like, you know, they're, they're not my kids. Uh, they got paddled a little bit. But then again, if you hit them on video, I might get banned. Who knows, you know? So I can't even do that. I just have to yell at them nicely to be nice. To be nice. That's not nice. But my kids, they got a little bit of paddling when they were bad. So, but they're not mine, so I can't do, can't do anything. Sorry, I started sorting them off screen. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through through these quick because it looks like we're not getting much of anything here. That's a nice uh, Reggie Jackson, Gian B. So these are the cards that come inside those cans that you opened up. This is the inside. I got a, I bought a couple of them back in the day. Um. And when um, Eric and I think John has some, I don't know if John opened his yet, I messaged them and suggested they um, open them from the bottoms so that the cans, you know, they're stackable. And I'll, I'll show you. I do have a couple. Sorry about that. I know you guys want to probably, you're dying to see that. Jose can say go from there, right? It's here. I don't know. But. Like, I open mine, and i got to get them here on the shelf. Collecting dust. So I got, like, five or six of these. Because I forget what they cost back in the day. Yeah, they're dusty. But if you open them from the bottom... Then, like I got a Nomar, I got this one here that had the 
home run heroes and we just looked at those i just bought that set tonight look at that i just bought that whole set how strange i got the mcguire i got um juan gonzalez but if you if you open them up and then you open them up from the bottom then when you set them up they'll stack and just because they're not but they stack nicer you know what i mean like if these were level they would stack and not want to fall over inside of each other you know what i mean that's all so i suggested that he did they do it that way and the cans are numbered too like this is number 17 that's number 11 number nine and number 21. so look at there now you know what can you're collecting This is a different one, though. So this is not, see the top, like this flat out says Pinnacle. This doesn't. It says Adult Supervision, open only with Adult Supervision. Open only with Adult Supervision. And it says the same thing on these. It just doesn't have the Pinnacle label, but we know these are Pinnacles because I opened up the, the set tonight and we looked at them earlier. Uh, yeah, well, um, Eric and John later on each bought a case of those. So that's cool. So anyway, here's a Conseco. I guess we'll put them with the Jose stack. So this is the Jose stack for tonight so far. Pretty, pretty hefty. This is <laughs> Jim Abbott stack. So, yeah. Oh, now we're getting a Tom Seaver um, Pacific. Uh, we're away from the Nolan Ryans for a little bit. Nice Eddie Murray. That goes over there because we got to find those missing cards to complete that set. That I was supposed to get a complete set of. Dave Kingman, King Kong. He would hit monster home runs. He was like the first guy to hit the, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think he was like the first guy to hit the roof of the Astrodome. Yeah, that guy would hit monster shots, moon shots. Wow, a lot of spanky Lavaliers there. How many Tom Candiotis? All right, not as many Candiotis. Okay, we got a lot of this guy, Mike Stanley. For Kinish. Tom Fold. So we're on the last stack, and then we'll hit that tote up, and that'll probably be it for the night, guys. I know some of you guys are tuning in a little bit late and you, you missed that whole first box, but eh, you can roll back and check the video out if you want. If not, that's okay too. It's all good in the hood here. I appreciate everyone stopping by and um, checking me out. Um, oh, God, look at these. Bo Diaz is at the wazoo and Jim Clancy's, but that's... Excuse me, that's the end of that. Now we've got these cards. So these are Fleer Traditions from 2001. So who was the guy in 2001? Can anyone help me out there? Was it, wait, I, let me think. Was it Albert Pujols? I don't know. I don't know what, Al, what year was Albert Pujols' rookie year. I come across these cards all the time, but I just don't know which one to buy. I should actually look it up so I know. Who helped me out so I can buy his rookie cards when I see them? There's an Andy Pettit. So I don't want to sit here and go through every single one of these because there's a stack of them. I really want to get to that tote. John Rocker. 
Wasn't he uh, in trouble for some racism or something? Poros was uh, 2001. Okay. Well, these are 2001s. So maybe I got one. Maybe there's... I doubt it. Let's face it. Come on. If you had these cards, wouldn't you pull out your pull holes? I might. They could have been pulled out years ago. Who knows? Dion B. Andrew Jones. Robin Ventura. Gary Sheffield. Now Block. Roger Cedeno. All right, let's see what's behind these guys. So why are the, why are some of these red? Oh, that's just his shirt. Never mind. I'm like, why is this one red? But it's just his shirt. So pool host came up with the Cardinals. So we have to be looking for Cardinals. But that's not him. Maybe the Cardinals are right here stacked up. Daryl Kyle, rest in peace. I um, met him back when he was a minor leaguer. Todd Helton, maybe a Hall of Famer one day, right? Maybe. If we're lucky, he gets in. Bernie Williams. Kenny Lofton. I mean, there are nice, some nice cards here, but I really... J.D. Drew. Ouch. Careful. I don't want to damage the cards. All right. So here's a team leaders. The Astros. Bagwell. Lou. And that's it. And for the Brewers was really nobody. Oh, here's the Pirates. Kendall, Giles, you know, we're not going to spend much time looking at them. So maybe these cards are in order and I just screwed them all up. I don't know. It's not a complete set, that's for sure. So who's this guy? League leaders, Mike Soroka. Bartolo Colon, semi-skinny Colon. World Series, Subway Series. So that was the Yankees and the Mets in 2001. Yeah, there's Jeter showing four. Where's your rings, Jeter? Just holding up four fingers. Where are the rings? So what else do you guys do besides cards? You guys play any like video games or anything like that? All right, who's here with the Cardinals? Albert is not on there. Jim Edmonds is. Rick Ankiel is for pitching, but he's a good hitter too. He was one of the guys that could have gone. And there's Vladdy Sr. Wow, he led the team in average home runs and RBIs. And the other guys didn't, they didn't have pictures of him. What the heck? Where's this guy? Invisible man, I guess. It's like, yeah, they were indisposed. Sosa had 50 home runs that year. Okay. We're still moving along here. Got a little bit left here. I really don't want to sort through the rest of those. Da 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 da. Dennis Martinez, Will Clark. Sabo with the glasses for Baltimore. Yep, didn't spend much time on those clear ultras. Just happy they're not all bricked up.
Mickey Morandini. I get funny the guy at work says, that's like a real baseball name because that just rolls right off your tongue. Like, really? Okay. Gil Hodges. Oh, there's a Topps Black Gold. Delano De Shields. And it looks like we hit a little vein of um, Juan Gonzalez. Shilling. Is that a Shilling rookie card? Probably. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. Nope. Never heard of them. Nope. Nope. Never heard of them. Those guys. All right. So there might be some good guys in here, but I don't know. David Justice in a Yankee uniform. I'm just looking at the Scott Brosius, Omar Vizquel, Manny Ramirez, Will Clark. I didn't know Clark played for the Cardinals. Holy cow. I missed all the 2000s, I reckon. Just look for Cardinals. Andy Bennis. You'll be back. Boom, boom, boom. Tino Martinez. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a Yankee guy. If I pause on Yankees, I'm sorry. <sighs> Marianne. Edgar Martinez. Ray Langford again. I've seen him a couple times tonight in different cards. All right, let's see what Spicy's saying. I like outdoor stuff like biking and hiking. Okay. GTAV. What is that? Once in a while. Grand Theft Auto 5. Got it. I game. I, I do... Um, Okay, spicy bear. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep my eye open. Obviously, um, I just got to remember. I'm gonna go. I saw a couple today in the flea market, but I I didn't pounce on them. I pounced on a sheet of nine the other uh, a couple weeks ago. Today, the guy who I normally buy a bunch of baseball off of didn't have a whole lot of baseball. He had that one box, that 3,200 count box that really had a bunch of junk in it. Turned out way too much football, but um, Normally, he has a lot of good stuff. I bought binders off of him before. I've spent, you know, 200 bucks just at his table alone. Um, but today, he had a lot of uh, toys like um, like um, John Jabs kind of stuff, right up John Jabs. I tried to see when we had the card show out in, in Valley Forge, and they said they might come out, and they ended up not coming out. I invited them out. I said, guys, I, you know, as much as I want that Pete Rose autograph, I'll sacrifice that Sunday and take you, John, to my flea market because there's so many people that sell those toys and stuff that he gets, you know, that he gets into that he really likes. Them. I know absolutely nothing about it, but I do know there's a lot of stuff at this flea market that he could probably really rake in, you know. But he didn't come out. So now they say they may come out to the one in December. There's like. Um, yeah, I think September. I don't know if there's a no, there might be a November one, <coughs> and there might be a December one, or there might only be a December one. But it's the biggest one in our area for, for like the Pennsylvania. And I live in Jersey and I drive the it's like less than an hour for me to get there, so I drive it. I gotta pass through Philly, and that's all not a big deal. So, Barry Zito, what's he doing over here? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like the gaming I like to do. I like to do, um, uh, all kinds of stuff. I, I mean, mostly shooting games. I'm a first person sh shooter game type deal. Um, so the call of duties, I've done all them. I've done the, um, John Rocker. Yeah. He got in trouble for being a racist about something, right? That's what I was on that thing about. But, um, I do the Hunter Call of the Wild, you know, 
shooting type stuff. I mean, I enjoy them. I don't even, but I don't own a gun or anything like that. I'm not a gun owner, but I also believe in you know, the Second Amendment. And if people want to own guns, let them. But I don't own a gun, so it is what it is. By the way, for you guys that are new to the channel, just tuning in earlier, earlier tonight we opened up some packs of cards. And um, take a look at that. Take a look at that gum. That is a piece of gum that came in a pack of cards tonight. So, it is the nastiest looking gum I've ever seen. It's individually wrapped, though, so it's probably still pristine. What do you think? I'm not eating it, but I'm just saying. All right, guys, so I paid $23 for this. You guys might like this because it's it's new, kind of newer stuff, right? I got this off of uh, – the guy's name is Ronnie. He has a YouTube channel. Or, uh, I forget what it's called. Damn, I, I thought he might tune in tonight, but maybe he's tired from the flea market. I don't know. But this is like new stuff. And a big beam of light's going to come out when I open this up. It's going to be music's going to play like. But. Oh, crap. He gave me another box, too. There's like a four hundred count box I didn't get. So I bought this for three dollars off him. The box, which was overflowing, he gave me like another. Three or four hundred count box. I have to run downstairs and grab that. But I don't know. I've never seen these before. Have you guys seen these? Like top loaders? Authentic jersey. He had like four CC Sabathias, all different patches. I picked this patch out. Um, and they, they're like picture frames. They pop out and they stand up. You fold it down and it stands up. So it must be a Pacific. No, it says vintage. Conroe, Texas. Upper deck. So there we go. It's upper deck. So that folds out. This flops down like an old-time school picture thing. And you just pop it up like that. Cool. But it's got authentic jersey in there. Ooh. I know it's an Indians thing, but still. I, I like CT. It's his final year. He's going to retire he's, um, after the season. And the season's over now. And um, he uh, came an authentic jersey card. And just, uh, he had several of them. I just picked that one up. He had other players other than CC, but I was saving my money because I didn't want to blow it all. And, you know, because I still owed Art $75 for the 40,000 cards I bought off of him. So let's see what we got in here in this tote. Again, it's it's like newer stuff. Look at Glaber Torres. 20 bucks for this tote. Where do you see what I get? I didn't even look at it. I just said 20 bucks. I'm like, all right. Clayton Kershaw. Uh, Yelich, right? Christian Yelich, uh, Mookie Betts, Alex Gordon, Perez, Kipnis, Solar, Solar. Here's a Javier Baez, 35th year, Merrifield, Miguel Cabrera. That some people say he's going to the Hall of Fame. He's not a. I don't know if he's a first ballot. Yazio Puig, Anthony Rendon's having a great year this year. Raphael Devers is always producing for Boston. Even in the down year for Boston this year, he is the standout guy. Matt Le Wade LeBlanc. Here's Araldis Chapman pitching in the rain. Salvador Perez. Blake Snell. <clears throat> Luis Severino. Uh, Miguel Andahar. Tyler Skaggs, rest in peace. Cartel Marte, Jason Kipnis, Ryan Zimmerman, Kyle Freeland, <clears throat> Miguel Sano, Rowdy Tillese, Tellez, Mitch Morland. Joey Gallo, Hunter Renfro, Scooter Gannett, Jeanette, whatever. Yonder Moncana. So, I mean, all fairly new cards. I know right now we're into, like, some junk new cards. But uh, I promise you it's going to get better. And there's a lot of, you know, nice cards in here. I'm sure you guys are like, oh, you got him, you got him. But like, I'm like I'm like a Yankee guy and a, obviously super stupid stars. But they're 
Michael Franco's a good player for the Phillies. I know that, but, you know. How about this one here? Greg Bird, too bad he sucks. Gary Sanchez. Uh, Duco Herrera, he fucked up his career. He's my friend. Herrera screwed up his career. Philadelphia Phillies card. They don't look happy there. Pravetta. There's a Jose Abreu. Polanco Upton. I, there's a Harrison Bader. Rookie card. Garrett Cooper. Corey Kluber. Manny Machado. Right, we'll throw him over here. I'm not totally impressed with him. Todd Frazier is a Met now, right? Wilson Contreras. Billy Hamilton. I had someone ask me about Billy Hamilton cards. I go, I don't have many because he's a new a newer guy. I don't have many new cards, so I've been slowly buying up stuff and opening up new cards. Kingery for the Phillies. Trey Mancini, gold cup card. It's got a different oh, it's numbered. I was gonna say it, the back feels different. That's numbered in ninety-nine. Cool. Is that a numbered card? Yeah. There we go. Focus just for a split second. So I'm like, the back feels different on this card. Like, there's no shiny. There's no uh, Arietta, Gallo, Edmund Encarnacion. He must have just jacked one there, and he's getting ready to break out the parrot. I don't know. Kind of silly. Russell Martin, Chris Davis, Yuli Gurriel. Matt Chapman. I mean, a lot of Josh Bell. A lot of nice, nice, good ball players. Posey. Don't know about that. Luzagia, whatever. Jan Gomes. Alberto Amora. Carlos Correa. I mean, Xander Bogarts. The, the, that's not numbered. So was that other one numbered by any chance? I don't know. Let's see if we got any other numbered cards in here. Not numbered. So sometimes these 35th anniversary cards are numbered. That one is not. Okay. Elvis Andrus. <clears throat> Let's pull out this stack here. See what we got here. Um, Jordan Hicks, he's a pitcher, right, for the Cardinals? Dude can hit, like, is he a pitcher? Yes, that dude can hit 100 miles an hour real easy, right? <clears throat> of course, a lot of pitchers can do that now. Anthony Rizzo. <clears throat> Meech, who's Meech? Nickname, Mitch Hanniger, okay. Kyle Schwarber. Posey again. Anthony Rendon, like I said, he's having a great year. Hey, look, Ryan O'Hearn showed his head. I don't have all those O'Hearn cards like uh, Eric Jabs has, though. There's a um, Robinson Cano. Here's a 30, 30th anniversary Robinson Cano. Not numbered. It's still a nice card. This is rip open the excitement and discover the unexpected. So that must be an advertisement for a rip card. <coughs> I don't know. Um, I guess, I don't know, 25% off your, your kid's baseball card pitcher. Anthony Rizzo on a stadium club. Max Muncy stadium club. Brian Zimmerman. Here's the red, uh, Enrique Hernandez. Juan Mon Moncada, who started out the year pretty good, pretty strong. I don't know how he's doing now, but he was doing very well early in the season. Luis Urias. How about a Harmon Killebrew? Oh, he must have pulled a hammy or something. He's getting wheeled through the stadium. He must have pulled a hamstring. How about a Joey Vato, right? Ted Williams. Ask, ask the man who is, was one. Who is, was one. Oh, so you should have put that is over the was. Ask a man who is one. United States Marines. So, yeah, he was. Uh, he served in the military. Lost two years of his uh, prime playing days to military service. Mariano having a celebration there. Back in the... You know, Tommy Pham, what's this? 
there's nothing on it. So this this is some kind of error. See how it's missing all the foil? It's got no foil. Cool. No printing. They ran out of foil. Just that's cool. Ernie Banks. Billy Hamilton again, right? Dustin Petrora. <clears throat> Lordy Scoriel Jr. Stephen Piscotti, Red, Melot. Cal Ripken Jr., high five in the fans. How about a Chipper Jones Power Zone? Stadium Club. This is how we baseball. Minnesota Twins, Max Kepler. Reggie Jackson getting ready to gun someone from the outfield. I don't think he was ever known for his arm. More for his bat. Corbin Burns. Andrew Benintendi getting the old World Series wash down. That's uh, Yadier Molina. A lot of people think he's IP Hall of Famer. I don't know. I haven't really followed his career. Corey Kluber. How about a Ken Griffey Jr. card? Look at that. Nice. And then we got some shiny stuff here. So let's see what's going on in chat. I've been going off for a little while. Like a huge year for rookies. Yeah, but you know what? You can only hope <clears throat> that they don't get hurt. There's all these new rookies. That, the Vladdy Juniors, the, the um, Bo Bichette's, the um, Kevin Biggio's. Yes, this is a super duper crop. Probably the best the best overall crop ever, ever. And that's saying a lot, but there's so many that um, Christian Yelich. I know people. Some people say Yelich is a fad, but he's produced the last two years. Boston 150 years of baseball card. Boston Red Sox. Kenley Jansen. Bouncing back after uh, heart surgery last year. Oh, it's good to see that. Trey Mancini, Nick Markakis, Paul Goldschmidt. I mean, he didn't pull out all the good cards. Here's Marcus Stroman. Uh, I don't expect to find any Trouts in here or um, any of the big names. But still... He didn't pull them out. He left the Cedric Mullins in here, too, by the way. Another O'Hearn. So there's two O'Hearns now. A Dansby Swanson. I mean, Jose Abreu again. Eddie Rosario. Matt Carpenter, who's now kind of uh, been replaced as a starter for the Cardinals. From what I understand, I've watched part of a Cardinals game, and he basically... Comes off the bench now. He's been replaced in the fields by, you know, a younger guy. It happens, unfortunately, right? So who's this? Jose Abreu again. Golito. Cisco. And Jack Flaherty, who was a pleasant surprise for the Cardinals, right, this year. There's another Jansen. Goldschmidt again. <clears throat> so... This box for 20 bucks, and I paid three dollars for this, so 20 bucks for all these cards. And I still got like 400, a couple hundred downstairs anyway, at least 200 maybe. Severino again. I mean, some of them are repeats, but still, it's always good to have doubles. One might be a nine, and the other might be a 10, and you'd be glad you got that second card, right. Another Devers, Sonny, yeah. Goodbye, Sonny. You didn't perform in New York. Yazio Puig again. There's another league leaders, Christian Yelich. Kipnis, another Rendon. Alex Gordon. So some of them are repeats, but still. I noticed these cards have, like, some kind of film on them. I had some, too, that I... Picked up, they got a film on them. I'm like, what the heck is that? Aaron Hicks, always a good ball player there. Wilson Contreras, good ball player. Yadier Molina, again. Corey Sager. Jonathan Scope, right? K. 
Kipnis. James Paxton, who finally turned his season around for the Yankees, right? <clears throat> Here's a Freddie Freeman, uh, top home run challenge. I think they discussed this on someone else's thing, and that's expired now, but we'll check it out. Bader, Clevenger, Schnell, Schnell. So wait, so one of these is a, um, no, league leader card, so it's not a, a short print. Never mind. Mancini, Marquecas again, Goldfman. Cole Calhoun. David Price, who sucked it up this year. So he had a stack of uh not not Ronnie, but another guy who sold me that one box for way too much. Um had a stack of these uh Look like this this design. Um, Pete Alonzo's. He had 22 of them there, but he wanted a ridiculous amount of money for them. Didn't even say rookie card on them. You know what I mean? It was like a it was like a Bowman card. So it might have been like a pre rookie card. I don't know, but he wanted too much, and I already spent a hundred dollars at his table. Figured he got enough of my money. They're there next time. What are these old cards doing in here? I gotta say something to Ronnie about that. Slipping these old things in here that no one really likes. There's a um, so this is a Topps Fire card. Okay, I, I don't have these. Are the first ones I've got. A Giancarlo Stanton. Oh, Whitey Ford. Tori is he's still around? I thought he'd be gone. Oh, look at that one. What's this one here? Topps Fire, but it's yellow. Andrew Benintendi. I don't know. Some kind of insert card, right? Pravetta. Andrew Benintendi. Chris Bryant. Oh, look at these. Long ball leaders. Joey Gallo, Texas. Some Dunruss. 41 home runs. Latest Paul Goldschmidt. All kinds of sparklies. Out of this world. Paul Goldschmidt. Another Dunruss. Andrew Vaughn. American Pride. So... Collegiate national team. Okay. Here's a Topps Fire. Scott Kingery. It's numbered to 299. So I don't know if all Topps Fire are, are numbered or not. So. No, that Ben Attendee wasn't numbered. So I don't know. I guess because it's a foil card. How about this one here? Adrian Beltre. It's like a purple. Pink card. It says Prism. That's all it says. But it's optic. So it says Prism on it. It's a special card, I guess. Daniel Murphy. Carlos Gonzalez. Here's a Diamond King of Salvador Perez. This says Prism on it. So it must be like a shiny, like a refractor. Yeah. Freddie Freeman. That's a nice one. This is just a regular card. Stephen Piscotti, regular card. Javier Baez, that's a nice one. This says Prism on it. So, Joey Votto, that's a nice one. This just says nothing. Mark Trumbo, Diamond Kings, but it looks like a refractor. I don't see where it's, oh, it says Prism up there, I guess, right? So that would be it. Okay, got it. Uh, optic, no prism on this one. Chris Davis. Here's a top Ichiro gallery. Nice. <clears throat> Jackie Bradley Jr. Xander Bogarts. Daniel Murphy. What is that card doing there? Oh, it's a Bagwell. It's a, a McDonald's card. I got a ton of them, but. Chris Bryant. Azuel, Azuel Garcia. Azuel, whatever. David Mengden. Mengden. Cal Ripken Jr. His head looks huge. So like super, super. Don Mattingly. Donning Baseball. Nice. 
Art Ayrton Althier, Althier, Carlos Correa, Nolan Ryan, George Springer. Oh, look at this, Trevor Story. This is a blue one. Oh, it's numbered to 50. Okay. There you go, numbered to 50. 40 out of 50. Nice. This is Verlander. You can't go wrong with anything Verlander. Jess Winkler. Oops. Can't go wrong with anything Kershaw because they're both like, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Schwarber. Amir Garrett. Isn't that the guy that wanted to fight the whole Dodgers team or someone like that? Matt Chapman. James McCann. Sal Romano. My wife's maiden name is Romano. Dakota Hudson, rookie card. Anthony Rendon. Nolan Arenado. Uh, Justin Turner hitting a bomb. Mishihiro Tanaka. Merrifield. Ramirez. Mookie Betts. Chris Sale having a very bad off year. So, I mean, these are new cards, but you know, I don't have a lot of new cards. So, to me, they're, they're neat. Just as neat as the uh, old ones. Corey Sager, right? He's a good ball player. Mitch Moreland. Hugh Darvish. He turned his season around this year, right? So, he had a decent year this year. Uh, Cedric Mullins, rookie card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jose Abreu again. Yair Moncada. David Peralta. JBJ. Dylan Batanzas. Oh, Thurman Monson. Sorry. Yankee guy. Sorry. Craig Bird. So here's a Glaber Torres. GT6. So it must be a subset because here's another Glaber. GT16. That's a lot of cards to be putting out for Glaber. Ronaldo Lopez. Not numbered, but it's a foil card. Yeah, Bob Gibson. Iconic card. Sweet life. Max and Cody celebrate. J.P. Crawford. J.D. Martinez. <clears throat> Jose Martinez. Johnny. Johnny Cueto. Here's another Glaber. Number 18. Trey Mancini. Paul Goldschmidt again. Raphael Devers, 150 uh, years of baseball. Schnell again. Another belt. Adam Jones. Another Swanson getting dusted off. Jose Abreu. <clears throat> Gary Sanchez. Stars of the game. Not numbered. All right. Joey Gallo. Smith, Rondon, Ballpark Evolution, <clears throat> Gary Sanchez, anytime I get a Yankee card, I'm happy, Austin Tyler, rookie card, Matt Kemp, <clears throat> So what year is this? 2009. Leski Goriel instead of Yuli. Howie Kendrick. Randy Johnson. Paul Goldschmidt. Cody Bellinger. There's Alex Bregman under her. <clears throat> I 
Christian Yelich. Phil Rizzuto from is that, is that Tops Fire? Yes. Didi Gregorius. How about a Tyler Wade? Is that who it is? Yeah. This is a prism of Andrelton Simmons. <clears throat> nice Mookie. I can't, what's that? Machines. Felix Hernandez, isn't he retiring now? Yazio Puig, a short stay with the Reds before being shipped off. Is there long enough to get into a couple fights? Aaron Hicks, Yankees. Mookie Betts, Alex Bregman, Marcelo, Alex Bregman, Xander Bogarts. Oh, my favorite, favorite guy to not like, Pedro Martinez. There's a story behind that. Some of you guys have already heard it. Some of you haven't heard it. But basically, when he was a minor leaguer, he would cut, the, the Dodgers would come to uh, the um, Padres AAA team there at uh, in Las Vegas and – he flat out refused to sign cards for me and all this stuff. Said I was only selling them. I did get him to sign a couple. Uh, like usually they come and they play like a four or five game series. So every night we went up there. Like every night I lived four blocks from the stadium. And Shane Bieber. Isn't there a card that Bieber? Um, they called him. Let's say singer Justin Bieber. One of his cards they put the wrong name on there. So anyway, so after like this third game he refused to sign he says um, in his best broken english that i'm just selling the cards hunter renfro ricky henderson nice blue not numbered but it is a prism nice ricky henderson adam warren there's another wade Missy Hiro Tanaka, Dylan Batances, who was hurt right out for the season, I believe. There's an Albert Pujols. Finally got an Albert. Not a rookie, but still. Giancarlo Stanton. Justin Turner. Um, Schnell again. Matt Olson. J.D. Martinez. There's a Bregman Gold. Raphael Devers, Aaron Hicks, Chanel again, Franklin Burrito, whatever. And another Yelich. It's getting a lot of Yelich cards. Oh, that corner was dinged on that. That's why you don't put them in totes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not a 10 now. I'm going to have to put it back in a tote. Phillies, who's on there? J.P. Crawford, that's about it, I guess. There's a Didi, Verlander, Chris Bryant, Billy Hamilton again, Paul Stewart, <clears throat> Ian Hap, Andrew McCutcheon, Ricky Henderson, Frank Thomas. Look how young he looks there. There's another Ricky. Maddox. Upton, Beltre, another hat, Chapman, Cozart, Farmer, Kyle Farmer, Chris Stratton, there's a Yelich, Nick Prevetta, and we'll turn these around because I'm going to flip these around so we can see them. So here's a Miguel Sano, Mike Miner, Turner, Subok. Eric Haas. What's oh, numbered? Numbered to 99. Nice. Um, Starling Marte. Here's a Luis Castillo. Not numbered. So I don't know how they figure that. Miguel Cabrera. Yasmani Grandel. Scribner. Bob Gibson. Enrique Hernandez, Bradley, Bundy, and Devers.
Okay, here's a Brandon Belt, not numbered. Anthony Rendon, not numbered. Uh, Jose Abreu, not numbered. Luis Ortiz, not numbered. Isaac Galloway, not numbered. Interesting. Jesus Aguilar, not numbered. <clears throat> Sterling Marte, we'll check the chat here. We just need Bobachet and Velati. Alex, that's really cool, yes. Uh, me and my daughter are glad we got a baseball signed by Kevin Biggio. That is nice. Yes. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, yeah, it's... Um, so you get here a little late, but that's cool. Uh, this is a tote I bought off of uh, a fellow YouTuber who sells cards up at the uh, flea market where I go. He also has a YouTube channel with Merrifield. And um, so for 20 bucks, I bought this whole thing of cards. And there's a couple downstairs. Chris Shaw, not numbered. Kyle Wright, that's not going to be numbered. Danny Jansen, Justin Smock, not numbered. So apparently Yadier Molina, right? Steven Duggar, not numbered. Sean Manea, not numbered. Brad Keller, ooh, Andrew Benatendi, blue. Parallel, not numbered. Interesting. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton, Chris Bryant, uh, Corey Kluber. Here's a blue Jake Bowers, not numbered. John Lester. Here's a brilliance, Miles Mikolas, not numbered. Here's a red Felix Hernandez, not numbered. And a Miles Straw rookie card. I don't know how he's doing. I don't follow um, Houston. I believe it's Houston or who is it? So, yeah, Houston. So I don't know how he's doing. I'm sure he's doing fine. He's in the big leagues. Another Goldschmidt. So we're not getting the big guys. You're right. We're not getting the real big guys. We're getting... A small fish but that's to be expected he's not going to throw these in here and there's another ryan o'hearn rookie card he's not going to throw them in there with these guys and sell it for 20 bucks you know none of us would do that either so here's the 35th year chris davis not numbered tyler glass now Miguel Sano just picked it up for his team. Every time I see a, a, a national, I want to get uh, a Soto, but that ain't going to happen. Javier Baez, Yuli Goriel. That's Otani. He dwarfs Bregman. Cedric Mullins again. Sterling Marte. Jackie Bradley Jr. <clears throat> Yazio Puig. Mancini. Hosmer, Goldschmidt again. I'm surprised we're getting all these Goldschmidt cards. Cabrera, Julio Turan, Yonder Alonso, Kyle Skaggs, rest in peace. Darwin Marte, Matt Olson. Josh Harrison.
Rendon again. Here's a 35th anniversary Trevor Hoffman. Not numbered. Here's a gold Mike Leak. It's numbered to 2019, number 751. From Series 1, card number 27. Always sunny. Yeah, sunny. That's the second time I saw that. <clears throat> Here's a Brad Keller, number to 2019, of course, number 540. Rookie card, though. Here's a Michael Kopech, right? You wouldn't expect to get a Kopech in here. I don't know how good he's doing, but... I mean, you hear his name mentioned all the time. The other Cedric Mullins. Backed up by Ryan O'Hearn. Look at that. Another Kopech. Another O'Hearn. Another Mullins. Uh-oh. Bob Feller. I believe Bob Feller broke into the major leagues. Well, it doesn't say it's got Lindor on the back, so never mind. I think Bob... Well, there's a Babe Ruth... Greatest season, Babe Ruth, 1927, I bet. Yep. The 60 home run season was 1927, better known as Ruth's 21 campaign. Surpassed uh, it in many stat columns in addition to his 59 long balls and 378 batting average. Whatever that word is. Tri Trioca of 177 runs, 190 extra. 119 extra base hits. 457 total bases is unmatched in baseball lore. Nice. Here's greatness of Ernie Banks and um, Javier Baez. That number, but still a cool card. Here's a Roger Maris, 61. In 61, of course, everyone knows that. Jordan Hicks can... Yuli Goriel Jr. Lourdes Goriel Jr. I'm sorry. Another Willie Calhoun. There's Kyle Sager, 150-year card, but not numbered. Ah, here's a 35th anniversary, not numbered. 35th JT Romuto, who is now in Philly, not numbered. Gleyber Torres, 35th anniversary card, not numbered. Roberto Alomar, not numbered. Derek Jeter, please be numbered, not numbered. Rich Urena, Michael Franco, Abdugo Herrera, Jay Bruce, Max Scherzer, Jake Arrieta, Nick Prevetta, Prevetta Kyle Tucker, Kyle Tucker. Mookie Betts, Mookie Betts, and look, we got a Juan Soto. Followed up by Eric Judge. The last two cards in the tote. Nice. Very nice. All right, hang in there, guys. I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to pick the, the other box of this to match this up so we get that whole tote done. All right. Still kind of early. It's only 9.52. So we're doing good. I know I started a little early, but... All right. So we went through all of these. Put them away. Put them back. And... You now we got to find a box for these. Or else they're going to get damaged in here. And this is the rest of that tote that I bought. 
So 20 bucks for that tote. Tyler O'Neill, Luis Severino, Javier Baez, Anthony Rizzo, Eric Cosmer. Check the chat real quick. I need a drink. Yeah, because like I don't have a lot of this new stuff. I barely you know buy the stuff because it's number one, it comes out so quick on top of each other. Bang, bang, bang. And I don't know. I as much as I like the new stuff, I can get more bang for my buck if I buy the bulk things like this and and get you know like cards like this to fill sets out and stuff, whatever. Sorry guys, I need to really quench my thirst there. So Alex, you're still here, right? So Alex, I, I think I still left them out here. I hope I did. Maybe I did. Darn it. I think I did. So I picked up tonight. Ah, oh, I put them somewhere. No, right there they are. Okay. They're with the uh, Jim Abbots. So, you're going to like these two. Pick them up tonight out of a box that I opened up earlier of like 3,000 cards. Cedo Gaston. Now, I have to check and see if I have this one or not. Because this is the error one that says Washington and National League. If I have it, then I'll send this one to you. And this one here, I'll send it to you because I'm I know I have this one here. This is a 72 tops, and this is a 74 tops. Yes. <clears throat> but I have to verify that one. <clears throat> but I know you wanted the Clarence Gasses, and like that's like I don't I didn't come across that many, you know. And I've got all those boxes. I'm not going to go digging through all those boxes. I'm just kind of going through what I pick up now versus what I've got already kind of packed away. What is this triple play doing in there again? Mark Trumbo, Jake Arrieta, Ben Zobrist, uh, Ryan Braun. Here's a Joey, Joe Musgrove. That can't be numbered, right? No, it's not. Ramon Martinez, two of them. Nolan Arenado. Jose Ramirez. Roberto Alemar. Marcel Osuna. Carlos Correa. Dynamic duo again. Evan Longoria. Ooh, Carl Schwarber. Not numbered, just a prism card. Oh, look at that, Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. Not numbered. How could you not number that? Oh my God. You guys are killing me. Marcel Asuno again. Ryan Zimmerman. Nolan Ryan the Express. Trey Turner. Kirby Puckett. George Brett. And we get Ryan Healy and Brian Dozier and <clears throat> Kluber, I guess. Anthony Rizzo. Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant. Paul Goldschmidt, Miguel Sano, DJ LeMahieu came out of nowhere. I so guys, until I, I never heard of this guy until he started playing for the Yankees. Uh, you Rockies guys would know if he was any good when he was in Colorado, where the air is thinner. The porches may not be as short like in Yankee field, uh, Yankees um, Stadium right field. Even though he's a righty, a lot of righties can hit hit a long ball and it'll just travel out. In the right field at Yankee Stadium because it's what they call a short porch there. So, cards for days. How's it going? <clears throat> so, who's this? this is a, a Juan Soto, guys. Look at this Juan Soto. Nice. It's a Diamond King. Nice. So, he didn't pull all the Sotos out. He didn't. 
Maybe we'll get lucky and there's a box here. Yeah, we still have a couple hundred cards. And then we'll be done. Matt Kemp. Anthony Rizzo. Jose Abreu. Oh, look at these blue cards. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon. I do not see numbers on them, so apparently they're nothing special. Josh Bell. J.D. Martinez. Arizona. So I'm like, why is he in that gray uniform? Because he's in a Cardinals uniform. Or Diamondbacks, I mean. Daniel Murphy. He's a Met now, right? Not having a good year. Robinson Cano. That's Seattle. Should have never left New York, but that's okay. Kyle Sager. Oh, that's Kyle. I like his other brother. Joey Votto. Nice. Orlando Arca. Gene Segura, who's now a Philly, right? Michael Brantley. <clears throat> Jose Altuve, 2017 MVP. I don't have many Altuve cards either. So that's good. Justin Bohr. <clears throat> Evan Longoria. George Springer. Who's this guy? Eddie Rosario. Not special there. Just a regular card. Look at this one. This is a 69 tops. Jared Eckhoff. Never heard of him. Sorry, Jared. Never heard of you. Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Matt Stram. Brandon Belt. John Lester. Amar, Amir Garrett. So who's this? Ross Stripling. Jack Morris. Here's a fire. Blackman. Charlie Blackman. Uh, there's a Yelich. Christian Yelich. Ralph Kiner. Eduardo Nunez. I think he came up with the Yankees. I'm not going to say here. The only. That's a World Series card. It's only given a playoff record. George Springer. So, guys, while well, I got you, who do you think is going to win the World Series this year? What are the two final teams, and who do you think is going to win it? Castellanos. J.D. Davis. Victor Robles. There we go. We got a Victor Robles card finally. It's a gallery, but still. Nice. It's a rookie card. Victor Caratini. Villanueva, Christian Villanueva, Manny Machado. Look at them ears on that guy. Woo! Man, put a hat on or something. Hide them ears. John Gomes, Sean Reed Foley, rookie card. Brooklyn Athletics. Ooh, Swanson gold card. So this will be numbered to 2019, right? Yes, it is. 904 of 2019. Not bad. Here's a Will Myers. Not numbered, but still nice. Gregory Polanco. Another Puig. We've done that one before. Gregory Polanco. Same card, yeah. Joey Rickard. I can't believe this guy said he could he would be able to strike out Babe Ruth. Yeah, but how many home runs were you hit off you? Too. You didn't talk about that. Anyway. He assumes he has has a great time everywhere every day out. Kirby Yates, 150 years. Another Willie Calhoun, future stars. Yuli Goriel. Matt Olson, Tyler Skaggs, again. Andrelton Simmons, James McCann, Yonder Alonzo, another Yelich, Austin Hedges. Oh, it's numbered. Look at that. Numbered to 150. Cool. I even feel a difference in that. I just flipped that over to look on the back to see what his, what his thing was with the Padres. He's a three set. Oh, no, wait. Where is it? It's seen like all those other stats on here. Just give me his batting average. Give me all kinds of other crap on the back of these cards. 
No one knows batting average. That's it. Not with whatever. Runners in scoring position or with two outs or whatever. Just tell me what he bats. Nicholas Castellanos. Here's some prism cards. Jose Peraza. And not numbered. Uh, Tuki Toussaint. Not numbered. Jose Altuve. So I got another Altuve card. Nice. Uh, Adam Jones. Oh, look at this. Nice red Joey Votto. Not numbered, but still. Look at that Pete Rose card. Nice. It's like a pink one. Not numbered, but it's a prism. Nice. Who's this guy? Framber Valdez. Not numbered. Corey Kluber. Not numbered. Miles Straw. I'm sure he's a good ball player. I'm going to try to pronounce his name. Josh Donaldson maybe was a good player. Tuki Toussaint again, not numbered. Oh, now these are sparklies. Roberto Alomar. So these are numbered to 299. It says Prism. That's all it says. But it's got to be a special Prism design, right? Do you guys know what that design looks like? Tire tracks or something. But it's cool. It's numbered. Luis Urias. Miguel Andohar. Don't have many Andohar cards, so I was always glad to get one of them. Corey Sager. Here's a Rowdy Telez. Prism, not numbered. Here's a Justin Turner Prism. Not numbered, but it's red. Ty Cobb. That's who I named my son after. Ty Cobb. Now you know. His name is Ty. T-Y. Trevor Story. Fireworks. Nice. John Lester, Prism, not numbered. Josh James, Prism, not numbered. Here's a fire card. Weaver, Lindor, Reggie Jackson. Max Scherzer. I'm not really hyped on these fire cards, by the way. I, I don't know. They're too cartoonish for me. I'd rather see the real players' features, not, not like a comic book character. You know what I mean? I don't know. Andrelton Simmons. Hunter Renfro. Josh Donaldson. All right, we're coming to the last maybe 100 cards. And that will be it. Chris Sale. Carlos Martinez. Oh, yeah, nice Dave Winfield. And it's numbered. I didn't check the ones for the front numbered, but this is numbered. I wonder if there's... I wonder if those blue ones were numbered on the front. This is the number four six, numbered to four hundred sixty-five. Um, oh, get it the other way, right there. Right there, number to four sixty-five. Nice card. I I I love the uh, the old players too. Corey Sager. Uh, Rog Rognin Odor. God, what a name. Oh, look at that. Fire Reggie Jackson. That's nice. It's got a foil foil background to it. And it's numbered to 199. Go this way. So that's cool. Oh, you can't see the number. There's cameras. I got to get a better camera, I guess. Once I get moved out into the garage, I'm going to be able to set up the way I want things. Trevor Story. Jordan Montgomery. I don't think he pitched much for the Yankees this year. Paul Goldschmidt. Yohan Moncada. Like I said, he started the year out pretty good. I don't know how he's doing now, but he was always in the news. Whit Merrifield scorching. Not numbered. Not a prism. Just a regular card. Luke Weaver. Martin Russell. Raphael Devers again. Zach Granke. Two outs away from what? A perfect uh, a no hitter. Jesus Aguilar. Paul Dion. Josh Hader. Uh, he started out really good this year, too. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, he was really blowing people away with his fastball and challenging them with it. Maybe they finally caught up to him. Luis Severino, 
JT Valmuto again. Oh, that's a nice one. Clemens and Pettit. Jonathan Scope. Nicknames Big Chill. Who the heck is Big Chill from Texas? No more Marza. There we go. Josh Donaldson. Mike Fultonavich. How's that? Fultonavich. Manny Machado. Here's a Max Scherzer prism. Yeah, buddy. A regular Max Scherzer. Non prism. All right. Last stack. That box is empty. And we will call it after this. Christian Arroyo. Deion Sanders. Andrew McCutcheon. McCann again. Who's this? Eric Bedard. Bedard. Who's this guy? Eric Bedard again. Okay, and there's another Eric Bedard. So we're getting some oddball stuff in here. Edwin Encarnacion getting ready to walk his parrot. Xander Bogarts. Very good infielder. A different Yazio Puig. Turner. A Puig. Jared Gorioko. Brendan Crawford's more my style. Addison Reed, I can pronounce his name okay. Mm -hmm. Jose Ramirez. Luke Weaver. Jose Quintana. Josh Harrison. Severino. Justin Bohr. Gallo. Smith. Blyer. Richard Blyer. There's Austin Hedges again. The last one I had was number of his. That one's not interesting. Here's a prism of Jacob Nix. Not numbered, but nice. Adrian Beltre. Victor Robles. There you go. There's another good card. Not numbered, but all right. So the Sotos and Robleses were here, but we didn't get... Um, we still have a few to go. But no Vladdy Juniors, no, um, oops, no um, of the really good guys. I mean, they're good, but none of this year's top rookies. Joe Maurer, put him over there. I like Joe Maurer. Brian Dozier. Miami Marlins. Everyone's giving Stanton uh, the old fist pump. Robinson Cano, Ramil Tapia, Michael Waka, Waka Waka, Fulmer, James Shields, Louis Duda, JC Ramirez. Here's another Max Scherzer, regular card. Chris Bryant, Gregory Polanco, Jesse Winkler, Paul Goldschmidt again. Steven Souza Jr., Jose Martinez, Paul Goldschmidt again, Garrett Hampson, Phil Meyer, Heath Phil Meyer, rookie, Ryan Borucky, rookie, Brandon Lowe, rookie, okay, Santana. Ponce, Daniel Ponce de Leon, Cedric Mullins again, Chance Adams, Justice Shetfield before he get, got traded, Bowers, and this feels funny on the back, so let's check the back. It is numbered 88 of 99. So it has no like clear coat on the back, so that's, I guess you can tell by just feeling it. Check the chat one more time. See what's going on. The Mets. Yeah. Are they even in it? Did they make a wild card or something? Houston is a tough team to beat, but they got to get past Oakland. So Oakland is tough on the Yankees and Houston all year. Mets. 
No Acuna or Alonzo's. No. Not in this, though. The guy had... Another guy had a stack of 22 Alonzo, like, um, Bowman. Like, they weren't marked rookie cards because they were like a, like a pre-rookie thing, I guess. I don't know. But he wanted too much for him. So, I have to step away. He wanted, it doesn't sound like much, but he wanted like three bucks a piece. But still, he said, well, they sell for like five. You can get five or six bucks for these. I'm like, yeah, but I don't resell them. I'm not making any money off of these. I don't resell them. If I buy them, it's for my personal collection. All right, I had to get a drink, guys. All right, you're back at it. So I spent 300 bucks today. I come home with four dollars in my pocket again. That's why I come back from the flea market. Thank goodness I used to tell the guys, the vendors, like, good thing I don't need gas for the, to make it home from the flea market. I wouldn't make it. Francisco Mio, look at this red card. Daniel Murphy. I mean, he was great with um, Washington. And he goes to the Mets, and I don't know, he's like stinks it up. There's a fire Frank Thomas, big hurt, nice. Here's a prism of Carlos Correa, not numbered. Still a good ball player. Fermil Reyes, prism. Sanders. Alex Rodriguez, fire card. Chris Shaw, regular. Thomas Pannone, Miles Mikolas, AJ Pollock. There's a Giancarlo Stanton. I'm a Yankee guy, so I'm sorry. Andrelton Simmons, Carlos Correa again, Framel Reyes, Adam Jones. Hunter Renfro and another Dion. And guys, that rounds out the some of the stuff I bought today. Like I said, I bought 40 some thousand cards from <clears throat> from art today. And I brought home a bunch of stuff from the flea market. <clears throat> so we will go through that. I'll try to get the videos up from the flea market. I ran so much video through the glasses that I ran the batteries dead. So I don't know how much I got. The batteries were dead. I didn't take my took my phone charger to plug it in. I could have had extra time. But I didn't. So that's it. Um, get what we get, I guess. Uh, like I said earlier, I opened up already um, the last five packs of the 91 um score series two looking for the mantle the chase for mantle i did it saturday with my granddaughters the chaos sisters and it was just so bad i, I don't even want to post the video it was just, just so bad it was the worst ever and i so i basically said this is the last time I, i'm doing this with the girls because um, you're just too rough you're just switching cards everywhere it becomes a little funny, but after a while, it becomes really, really annoying. So, um, yeah, good thing the cards were they're junk cards, and there was no mantles in there anyway. I knew there wasn't going to be any mantles. You know, we just know from experience that it's like one in every five or ten cases you might find one. So, the odds are really stacked against me anyway, but I figured you can't win if you don't play the game. So, I bought them. I bought those. 35 packs for 20 bucks and whatever it's just 20 bucks it's not like i needed gas money to get home from the free market that day either so it was okay anyway so that's it guys i want to thank every one of you for stopping by hanging out tuning in and just going through this with me and i don't mind sharing it with you tons of nice cards yes I'm glad I know I to me I I'm like I don't know what people see in this just me going through cards but 
I kind of understand because I know the feeling I get when I when I find something good. Like we start actually getting some nice cards in here, um, and I'm like, yeah, I'm getting a little excited here. And but you know, um, I just feel kind of funny just like sharing it, kind of. You know what I mean? Like it's like I don't get it. It's like, but I understand also that people have the same you know, love for the hobby, whatever, they enjoy it. Um, and once I get up and running, I'll be able to really, you know, start um, sharing. And I keep saying that, and I've really got to get off my duff and start my Patreon stuff, and that way people can donate to the channel. I can send them some cards, uh, some packs, whatever. I don't have a lot of new stuff. A lot of my packs are in the places, like a lot of the junk era stuff. Excuse me. But, you know, I, I the hurdles I want to get to. I want to get to 750 subscribers, and then the next uh, milestone would be 1,000. So that's when I'm, I'm trying to focus on that. But it is what it is. I did have a couple requests from some guys, so I will send them their stuff out. And, you know, that's cool. I also, for you who don't know, I'm working on a collaboration with, uh, yes, Alex, good night. A collaboration with Matt Antonelli, uh, Antonelli Baseball. Um, he does this, you know, Road to the Show 2019, you know, um, plays his baseball game. He answers questions. He's a former big leaguer, minor leaguer, you know. And I contacted him twice, and, yeah, he's, he's looking forward to a collaboration. The only problem is, is he kind of stole my... Um, who stole my um, thunder? Because he did a sh he did a video yesterday or the day before about baseball cards, and he talked about his, and that's exactly what I wanted to talk to him about his baseball cards and stuff like that. And so I don't know. He he said he, he's willing to collaborate, and so I just gotta. I'm waiting for cards. I like all these cards. I've never seen a Matt Antonelli card anywhere except eBay. So I have to buy them off eBay, and I've been buying them. I got a couple. I think I got four. I got four more coming. I'm going to send him eight different cards to sign. And his card goes for, like, anywhere from autograph 10 to 200. I've seen one of that for 200 bucks. It's not because he's a great ball player. It's because he's a YouTube personality now, even though he's only got, like, 124,000. And I say only because he doesn't have millions of followers. Uh, I would love to have 124,000, you know, subscribers, but, you know, the problems that come with that, too. Like, the, his demands on his time, his emails just busting with people, you know, with requests and stuff like that. And, you know, he said it's hard for him to answer even his emails, so, you know. But he's willing to sign autographed cards if you want to send it to him, and I put I put the address out um, yesterday. I have it right here. If anyone's interested in do, doing any TTM for Matt Antonelli, that's through the mail autographs. He doesn't charge anything. All you have to do is attach a self-addressed return envelope so that he can just pop it in the envelope with the stamp already on it and pop it in the mail and send it right back to you after he signs it. If you want a quick turnaround, that's what you do. If you don't, some guys won't even sign it. They'll just... Give it to someone else because you didn't supply them with, uh, you know, a return envelope. So, anyway, if you're interested, I'm just going to type it in here now. And uh, you guys can do what you want with it, whoever's still left here, if anyone is interested. So, it's Matt Antonelli. And it's... Uh, care of la, 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 where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There you go. New England Premier Sports Club. Right. And it is one ninety nine. Newberry Street. And 
that is in Danvers. Danvers. Can I spell that right? D-A-N-V-E-R-S. Massachusetts. And the zip on that is zero one nine two three two three. So that's it. If you want to send to Matt Antonelli, that's his mailing address. You send it to his work, his uh, place of business where he works, um, and um, he'll gladly sign your card and send it back. No charge. Some guys charge. He doesn't. He just amazed that people still want his autograph. That's all. Other than that, guys, that's going to be it for tonight's show. I appreciate everyone for tuning in and watching and subscribing and hitting that like button, clicking that notification bell. And, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Um, so let's do the old patented sign-off. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Boom Sign signing out saying peace. We'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, good night. I'm not going to bed. I'm probably going to play some, I don't know. I'm going to try to play some uh, um, Hunter Call of the Wild or something like that for a little bit. That helps me relax and unwind. <clears throat> if you got some of you guys are gamers, you know kind of what it is to just be able to relax. Because tomorrow's Monday, and we all got to go back to work. It stinks. Someday I'll be able to retire. And I can't wait to get my um, my um, shed installed, hopefully this week. Move everything from the garage out and start the renovation project on my garage to where I can um, turn that into kind of like a little man cave. And I'm going to put all my cards out there. And then when I start doing my YouTube stuff, it'll be from there. And you'll be able to kind of just see everything all the cards will be all stacked up everywhere in boxes and then you guys will freak out even more but anyway good night everyone thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one tomorrow sometime good night <laughs>